Hello my friends, my name is Dadcraft73 and welcome back to another episode of our Vanilla Minecraft 1.14.4 Let's Play series. I hope you're having a good day. Man, I'm doing alright for myself. Hey, I there was like a thing in there. I gotta... Oh. I hear... Do you hear that noise? That's a slime somewhere. I don't know where it is, but we need to figure it out. But I, I tried to punch in here... It sounded like it was coming from over here. It must be. I don't know where. I don't remember. Uh, I mean, this was there's like a cave all around here, so we seem to figure that out. Uh, so today, what I want to do is I want to connect this room underground to my little under my house area. Uh, I was just over here looking, seeing how low we were. So why level twenty six? But when I got over here, because I needed to get rid of some stuff that was in my inventory. Um, I heard that noise, so I gotta figure out what's going on there. Uh, but I've gotta fix some some stuff now. I just need one piece of, of this stuff. Let's go over here and put this back in the wall. I don't know where that noise is coming from. I don't hear it over here. I mean, it could be under the ground, maybe. Let's see if we can't find it real quick. I mean, because we can go down here. I mean, we only hear it when we're over here. Okay. Um. It's really loud right there, but it can't be there. Okay, I don't... I have no idea where that could be. Sounds like it's on this side of me, though. Like, over here. Let me just go in here real quick and see if there's more cave over here that we haven't discovered. We can't spend too much time. I know I've got slime chunks over across the way. Um, I just hate the idea that there's a slime jumping around in the wall and I can't find it. Nope. Okay. Anyway, so what we need to do is I want to build a tunnel from my area over there, by underneath my house, to this room right here. Because I've been doing lots of mining, trying to get enough diamonds to get myself a sweet set of diamond armor. Um, and I just want to make... I haven't really found a whole very many, by the way. Like, I did tons of mining, and I got none. But what I do need is I want to save all of these different like building blocks and we've got this area over here that we you know we called bulk storage but it's really not uh, bulk storage all it is is just a bunch of blocks that we've got thrown over here um, and we're gonna ve quickly very quickly run out of space so what we need to do is get ourselves some idea of like true bulk storage that we could dump just tons of resources in and then essentially forget about them until we need them and I think we can do maybe like a silo system for the stuff that we have the most of. And, and I think those are going to be things like cobble and I mean, maybe just cobble. Just if we had a silo that we could just put all of our cobble in, I think that would be good. And I mean, if we wanted to do a silo for something else, I mean, I think maybe we could do that. So I think we've got some room here. So if we count on the other side of the light here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we might be able to put maybe two two silos in here. Maybe we'll have to get rid of all this stuff. But first I want to do the tunnel that's going to connect this room. So I've got a couple options. I hate the fact that there's a guy jumping around somewhere. I have no idea where he could be. It's not in there. It can't be in there. Because they would die on the stuff, right? So it's not in there, obviously. 
I mean, there is more, like, cave and stuff around here, right? I mean, there's stuff down there. I hate when I can't find noises. It makes me a little crazy. What is that noise? Is it possible that that whoa, how close are we? <laughs> we gotta do some triangulation. Where where is there a minecart running except for at the other base? Hmm. Okay. Let's do some let's do some calculation. That's what we need to do. We gotta get ourselves figured out here and figured out what we need to do. Whoops. Alright, you go down there. Let's fill this back in. Okay, and then let's fill this back in. No. Fill these guys back in. Okay, so here's where we're at. So this is 500, 161. 500, 161. Alright, so now let's go up through the thing. I mean, I can hear clear as day a, a slime jumping around. 500, 161. It's nighttime. Let's go sleep through the night. I mean, is it possible that... I mean, that was that, that sound we heard, without a doubt, was our rail cart. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got the bad stuff happening over there, I think. But let's sleep through the night real quick. Oh, I didn't shut the door. So that sound we heard was the mine cart going back and forth. I hear, a, hear my birds. Janky and Alex. How are you guys? Yeah, just hanging out. Where's the other one? Hello? Hello, birds? Ah, oh, they're right there. Okay. They're good. All right, they're just hanging out, doing their thing. So, 500, like, 161 is what that was. So, let's go down here. I mean, this is the sound I heard. I mean, we're not that... It's not that many... It's like 30 blocks away, right? Now, is it possible that the slime jumping sound I heard was actually from my slime farm? I, mean, I don't know how that could be. If I go all the way over here... Oh, man, this is that... It must have been here. Right? I mean, is that even possible? Oh, man. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so hold on a second. What was that? 500? What? So that's... Okay. I mean, it's like right... Okay, I hear the thing. Where? Oh, it is. That's that. Oh, so it must have been in my slime farm that I heard that noise. Okay. So this tunnel... Oh, see. <laughs> Man, we're figuring stuff out together. Um, I don't know if that was really what I intended to do today, but I think this is going to work out okay. Because instead of building a tunnel that go Well, I mean... I sort of want to still build a tunnel. We need to build a way to access this area over here. I mean, literally, it's right there. Okay, and then... So that must have been a slime that was actually in the slime chunks right here. Now, since we ran over and back through, it has since despawned, right? Okay. All right, awesome. I mean, I'm down with that, 100%. So, so I, I think... Okay. <laughs> I didn't really expect this to be this close. It didn't feel like it was that close, but, you know, it is what it is. So right here is our string farm, and I guess, like, the string has fallen down, like, right over there, maybe? I mean, I guess. I don't know. That's interesting that they're all piled up together, which is actually good, because that means I can maybe get string while I'm over here getting slimes as well. Okay, so that changes what I want to do today. So instead of making a... Uh, a 
tunnel, what I need to do is at least get temporarily, I need to get all these torches out of this room is really what I need. So I need a different sort of light or light source. And I think what we're going to do is get some pumpkins growing. Even if it's just like a somewhat like organic pumpkin farm as of right now until I can figure out something long term and we can do like a real like the real deal pumpkin farm. And I mean I don't really need that many pumpkins. I just need some. So I think we're going to be okay. Let's just look around here in our storage area. That's kind of crazy. We do need a way to get back up and down from the slime area. But what we'll probably do, once we figure out how we're going to get it built, and we build sort of like the infrastructure. And it feels like sometimes I just need to spend like, I don't know, a week or so playing in this world like every day. Um, even if I'm not making videos, like 10 hours a day, to get some of this stuff taken care of around here that I feel like we need. I feel like there is some opportunity that we can take advantage of that we're not. Let's see, grown food, pumpkins. That's what I need. Cocoa beans. Okay, so I have a bunch of pumpkins. Uh, do I have a hoe? I don't know. Let's go up here and look. And let's get ourselves, at least at the, at the beginning of this episode, ah, there's a hoe, um, sort of like an organic... Like an organic type farm, at least. That way we can get some pumpkins growing. I mean, I could use just use those, but we're going to need more. So how do we want to build this farm? I think what I would like to do is just build this as maybe like an extension. So we've got that farm right there. I mean, I could just build it like out through here. Uh, by the way, I was thinking about this whole deal. I think I want to cover this up, and we want to have an underground entrance to get in here. I um, need to get all that podzo out of there as well. But I think this, we don't need to come up and around. Or maybe we still do. So where do we want to make our pumpkin farm? Uh, I mean, this is sort of like a melon farm, but it's also sort of not. And we could just grow it up here, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll just make it like here. And it's going to be super uh, like organic. It's not going to be anything too crazy. We're just going to have plants sticking around with some water, keeping them hydrated, and we're just going to go from there. So I guess what I can do is go off camera and start working on that a little bit. We're just going to literally build a super organic uh, planted pumpkin kind of field around this area here. And then... Like, so, so literally, I'm going to go like this. Let's just, I'll do one of the little plots with you. Okay. So, we're going to take these guys. Like so. Let's get some of these seeds down here. So, we'll go like this. Plant a pumpkin. And literally, that's it. Right? So, this makes sure that piece of ground stays hydrated. The pumpkin can only grow in one, two, three, four spaces. One of those four. So it doesn't really matter what else we've got going on. We can take advantage of this water, though, and probably do, like, one of these deals. Yeah, because the pumpkin could grow here, 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 or here, 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 or here, in those four spaces. Uh, but if we put it there, we're now sharing. So that's what we'll do. I'm just going to build a lot of those little, like, sort of two-by-two -two plots wherever I feel the need to. Like, if I go... Like, literally, I could go here, maybe. And we could go like that or that. And we could do pumpkin seed, pumpkin seed. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, I'm going to build, I don't know, eight or ten of these little setups just like that. These little, like, two pumpkin spots per hydrated water. And I'm just going to get some... I'll get some bone meal and see if we can't grow these things up a little bit. And then, once we have a couple pumpkins grown, we've collected a couple, then we can make jack-o'-lanterns right so this like so gives us oh we can't make jack-o'-lanterns anymore hold on a second here man is it not a thing You can't make those anymore? Why not? 
I must be missing something. Let me see if I can't figure out what why I can't make those. Because I was going to use those as my light source for my slime farm. Dang it. Anyway, let me get some pumpkins planted. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of searching around to figure out exactly how to make these jack-o'-lantern things. Um, you have to carve the pumpkin, so you have to use shears on the pumpkin, right? And then you can break it, I guess. Yeah, and then you can put a torch under it and make it a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, that's what I guess we need to do. Let me um, get rid of something in my inventory just so I have a little bit of room to pick some things up. So let's go and do this. What do you get? You get pumpkin seeds by doing that. Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. We really don't need pumpkin seeds, but that's all right. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so now we have these guys, so we can convert these into this. Like so, right? Jack-o'-lanterns. And then we can also take these guys and put them down on the ground, right? Just regular pumpkins. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can take our shears. And we could do that. And then we'll convert these into jack lanterns. And then let's go down into our slime room and we'll add these guys in the floor. And then hopefully, let's go like so. Carve pumpkins. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, any more grown? Yep, so let's get this one more. That way we can fix our inventory. Okay, this guy, torch. Perfect. All right, so now we have 11 jack lanterns, and we'll get some more. Uh, I just ran out of bone meal. I couldn't bone meal any more of those guys, but that's okay. So let's go down here, and we'll light up our pumpkin room. And then hopefully we can get rid of some of those torches. I have a feeling that maybe they're blocking some of the spawn areas. I mean, I don't really know if that's true or not, but it feels like it could be. All right. Let's go down here. All the way down. I can't believe we were, when we were over there at our string farm, that we were that close to the, this thing. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But whatever, it is. Okay, so let's go one, two, three, four. We'll go like that. We'll throw one of these bad boys in the ground. Let's do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four. And we'll do that. Let's repeat that down here. And then we'll see how many we have to go in the middle. One, two, three, four. Okay. You. And one, two, three, four. You. Okay. Now we could definitely get rid of some of these torches. Okay, and then I think maybe we probably need one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we'll just make it off center. I'm okay with that. I mean, this is just lighting up the floor. And then we got to go one, two, three, four, five. How about like that? Like that. Come on like that. And we'll put these guys in here like so. And then we can do another row. One, two, three. So if we skip four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. All right. We'll throw these guys in like so. Bang. Okay. And now all of these torches, literally all of these guys, like that one and that one. can be picked up and those jack-o'-lanterns won't impact s slime spawns I don't think okay all right perfect so that's a lot better we just need to get enough to do the rest of these let's go see if we have some more we've got some more torches now so we just need to get some more pumpkins so we can fill out the rest of these and that way this entire area down here won't have any torches in it that would block slime spawn so um i think what i'll do is i'm gonna just hang out and let some of these pumpkins grow a little bit more and then harvest them get a bunch more jack-o'-lanterns and we'll come down here and we'll fill out the rest of the area on the floor and see if we can't get some mobs to spawn um i'd still like to at least uh, outline the tunnel the problem is is it's on y level 26 so that's not going to be ideal but maybe we could make like a tunnel and then drop in i don't know 
Um, we also have to deal with this mess. We don't want this thing running back and forth all the time. Man, it's lots to do, lots to do. All right, so let's go gather up some pumpkins, uh, and I'll go off camera and take care of that. There's hopefully some more grown out here. Mm, yeah, looks like maybe. So I'll go off camera and harvest a bunch of pumpkins, and then we'll bring you back after I get that floor done down there, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. So let's do that. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. You can hear the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just came back down here, and lo and behold, there's a Big Daddy Slime chilling in here. So, I mean, that's good, right? It spawned back here. I was, I think I was right that those torches were blocking slime spawns, I think. I'm not 100% sure that was the case, but I mean, it, it definitely could be. Okay, so that was, oh, 10 slime. That's awesome. I just was able to get six more. I was just coming down here to put these in here. One, two, three, four, five, right? Are they one, two, yeah, okay. I was just coming down here to put these in here, and then I heard that slime jumping around, so I figured, one, two, three, four, um, that I would come down and bring you guys back. Why not, right? So we could take a look, see what was going on. Be like, yeah, we got slimes all over the place. We love it. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So that, like so. So we just need like a couple more, but we could take now, take out all these torches. Just leave those guys in there. One, two, three, four. So this guy here. One, two, three, four. This needs to go here. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll move this guy in. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we'll just throw that and that. So literally, we need one more pumpkin, and then all of these torches can come out of here, and then we should be good to go. I tell you what, let's let this, let's just let it ride. Let's go grab this pumpkin and see if we come back down, and we got more slimes in there now that we've got uh, bigger, we've got more, like, I guess technically spawnable space. I didn't know that, uh, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense that a, that a torch would take up a spawn spot, you know? Yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, that... Oh, that scares me a little bit. <laughs> we got to get that fixed. I don't like that thing running back and forth. Uh, yeah, we're going to be making some changes, I think. Now that we've got some slimes, we might be able to get away. We might we might as well try it and see what the deal is. Do we have another... Make one of those zero tick farms. I know that you guys would probably like to see one. Um, I would like to see how they operate on a server. I mean, we are playing on a server after all, so it'd be interesting to see how it would work. Yeah, got a little pumpkin farm over here. Working like a dream. I love it. I didn't know about that whole shear and pumpkins. Now we've got so many seeds. Good grief, we're raking it in. So maybe we will. Maybe next time we'll see about making a zero tick uh, farm. Uh, sugar cane, or uh, bamboo farm. And see if we can't like kick up the speed of our smelting operation around here. It's running kind of slow. Anyway, let's go do this last guy. So we got to do this like that to make a jack-o'-lantern. Um, wait a minute. We have to go around the corner like so. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I can go in there. Uh, by the way, I mean, if you're still watching this late in the video, I mean, we're a good ways in. Uh, this weekend, there were no videos on the channel, no new ones, and that was because it was just a busy weekend for me. I had to do stuff with my family. Uh, my daughter, if you don't know, I think I've probably talked about it before, is some crazy band person, and she's in the marching band. She plays the flute. And so Friday, they were, there was a game, so she had to go to the football game and march at halftime. And uh, we literally didn't get home until like 10.30 at night. Uh, so no video on Saturday. And then on Saturday, she had this like crazy band showcase thing where like, I don't know, 10 or so, 8, 10 of like bands from around the area came to like her high school and they... Um, 
like they had a competition, ex- exhibition slash competition type thing. Some of the groups were competing, other ones were there just like doing whatever. Um, and I volunteered <laughs> to help because, you know, if you're like a, a parent of a band kid, um, there's plenty of opportunities to uh, to volunteer to help with stuff. But anyway, I was uh, running the grill uh, for the concession stand, making hamburgers and hot dogs for... I don't know. And we didn't get home last night until late. I mean, it was like 11, I guess it was, ah, it was certainly after 11 p.m. Um, and, you know, I just, I couldn't do it. I, I was just tired. <laughs> um, oh, and then also, to make matters even more crazy, on Saturday, um, my daughter was in a parade for her dance uh, class. She is an uh, Irish dancer. So they are, every year they're in the, you know, like little town parade that we have. So, um, yeah. So Saturday, I got up at 7 a.m. And went to the parade. And then came home and took food up that I was donating for the other thing. And then was up there until, I don't know, uh, 11 something, 11.15. By the time I got home, I literally fell asleep on the couch Um and didn't even realize I was, had fallen asleep. Like, I was awake for one minute, and then the next thing I know, I was literally uh, out. So anyway, that's why there were no videos this weekend. I apologize. Uh, that's obviously not what I intend to do. Uh, but we're back. We're back in business. There'll be a video today. Real Life Craft, of course, tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday's going to be Night Terrors. Uh, we need to get some regrowth work happening. So regrowth is going to be coming. So we should be back. Um, I don't know how long that Real cra- real Life Craft series is going to uh, sort of take up space on the channel. I enjoy it. I get to play with my two good friends, Zloy and Piggy. And, you know, it's getting lots of views. So from that perspective, it's, it's good content, I think, um, just from a channel perspective. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, those things are not going to be around for, like... 500 episodes or anything and then we'll go back to sort of like our standard schedule where we have regrowth every other day um vanilla minecraft every other day and then with with whatever day tuesday for night terrors is our catch-up day so we'll get back to that soon um so i was just spending a little bit of time chit-chatting with you guys digging out this area you can see that i've got all this stuff just laying on the ground that's why i need to get bulk storage um and i think that's what we're gonna at least work on a little bit here in the near future but before we do that i think what the next project that we should try to do is um is find a way to get up and down from here so where in the world what I would really like to do so where is it so maybe maybe we could do this so where's 500 is it like the one that's down here 500 151 so that's that let's go back over here and see because if I can go from my my string farm it might be easier to go from the string farm to here and that way yeah i think that overall that's just going to be easy now i'm a little bit worried that we're not going to be able let's turn this on um so if i can go from the string farm to from that room over to here then i can use that water stream to go up and down right yeah So let's go over here. I feel like this episode has been a little bit of just us messing around, but that's okay. I mean, we, we did confirm 100% that we do have a slime chunk over there. We did make a cool little pumpkin farm that's going to have pumpkins growing all around in it, which is awesome. So, I mean, I'm happy with all of those things. Okay, so if I go over here... I mean, I think literally that fa- this this farm like is it like right here? And is it 
It's oh man, that, just, that might be awesome. Do I have torches? Yeah, put torches here. I feel like we're going away. I think it's this way. Let's see if we can't just find it. Oh, that's it. That's it right there. Okay. So that's not going to work as good as I thought it would. I mean, it's still going to work, right? Because what we could do is we could go in here. Now where, so the farm is like right there. And it goes back in this direction. So my question would be, where is it that I can get down into the farm... This way? It's right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's fill this back in. So the farm is literally right there. Okay. Right? And that comes right out of... Oh, that's going to work like a dream. Okay. Okay. I think this is going to be okay. So what we could do is we can put this back. This will be the way we get into the farm. I mean, the idea is that this farm. I mean, that's, I think I think we're we got really, like really lucky, that it's this chunk. This chunk is where the the string farm is. Over here is the slime farm. So eventually we'll dig all this out. Okay. Uh, I need to get rid of some stuff so I can pick up these blocks that I might need. Okay, there we go. So let's go up here. How much further? Okay. Bang. Do I have any more of that? No. Uh, get some andesite though. Okay. So that right there is goes all the way down to the thing. So what we can do is we can put another one of those drop towers in there. Or like a, yeah, like a drop area, like a drop thing. Maybe we can set up an exact same setup like this and now it's allow us to get up and down. Perhaps it's kind of backwards, but I think it still might be okay. All right, so I think what we're gonna do for the rest of this episode, I'm gonna clear out my inventory a little bit. I'm gonna have a little bit of building block stuff. Do I have dirt? Yeah, um, I've got andesite. Let's put that in here. Whoops, nope. Andesite goes in there. Uh, cobble we'll put wherever. Um, diorite can go here. Uh, and then we just need to get these other things smelted up. But what I think we'll do in the rest of this episode is I want to go find some kelp. Because I think somebody told me... I don't know. I was trying to figure out how I get out of here. I forgot about this thing. Someone told me that I can use kelp to make these like water things easier, I, I think. So let's just see if we can't find some. I'm not sure exactly where to go. I mean, I bet there's some over there by the jungle. I don't want to get lost again. So I know this episode isn't necessarily... Oh, I can't hit that button yet. Let me get out of the bed first. There. Um, I mean, this we didn't really do a whole lot in this episode, except confirm that we truly do have uh, slime chunks over there. What are those dudes lurking around for? I don't like those guys. But, um, oh yeah, I think this is like maybe ocean over here, maybe? Or maybe we can find some kelp? So we did confirm that those are, without a doubt, slime chunks, which is awesome. And what that means is, is this kelp here, or is this just water growing under the ground? That's just grass. We did confirm that those are slime chunks, for sure, and... Um, man, it's so close to our string farm, so I think what we can do is we can just set up we'll just have an AFK spot that allows both those things to work at the same time and we can get double duty, which is awesome. I'm completely down. Hello, bunny in the water. Don't don't have any problems, guy. Yeah, this might not be where we can find some kelp. I thought maybe there'd be some over here in this water, but that's just like regular underwater grass. Doesn't appear to be kelp. There's a um, pumpkin over there, or a watermelon. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't want to get too far away. Okay. All right. So maybe what we'll do next time. Let's let's next time get. Let's spend some time in working on that crazy string farm, or no, the the slime farm. Um, if we can get that done, um, you know, maybe we'll do like a time lapse and dig it out a little bit. We'll make some more spawn platforms. We'll figure out. Uh, I guess we could just make it kind of old school, you know, and have the slimes like jump over. We don't need that many slimes. That's the only downside to making a slime farm. We don't really need that many. We need a couple, but you know, it is what it is. So maybe we can at least do some work and get a couple levels of that slime farm going, see if we can find an AFK spot, and then we can go on a journey and see if we can't find some kelp maybe along the way as well. I think that sounds like an okay thing to do. Uh, but until then, please remember to be cool. Uh, don't be a fool. And from my 1.14.4 vanilla Let's Play series where we got pumpkins, we got a slime farm for sure, and we did cool stuff. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.